yes dear students in this second video we are going to discuss about the like and unlike charges if we rub a plastic comb with dry hair then electrons will flow from hair to comb and comb becomes negatively charged in the previous video i have already discussed that if any object will gain electrons then ultimately we can say it is gaining the negative charge so if we rub the plastic comb with our dry hair then in this case the electron will flow from here to the comb it means here are losing the electrons and comb is gaining the electron so ultimately the comb becomes negatively charged and the hair becomes positively charged similarly if we rub a glass rod with silk cloth then electrons will flow from glass rod to silk and glass rod becomes positively charged now in this second case the electrons are emitting out from the glass rod therefore the glass rod becomes positively charged and the silk becomes negatively charged okay now point number 3 you have already studied in the previous classes that objects with same charges repel each other it means if we bring together two positively charged objects or if we bring together two negatively charged objects then <clears throat> they will repel each other because this is the property this is the inherent property of charges that the similar charges will repel each other fourth point the objects with different charges attract each other okay so if we bring the negatively charged and the positively charged object then both of them will attract each other now we are going to discuss that repulsion is the proof for charge or simply we can say the repulsion is the surest test for electrification now in this case we have a positively charged body we named it as a object a and we have object b which is neutral in charge and object c which is negatively charged now object a is having the positive positive charge therefore it will definitely attract object b as well as object c okay because it will attract object b due to induction method and it will attract object c because the opposite charges will attract each other so object a will attract both b and c and we cannot dis differentiate whether b or c are charged or not it means any charged body will attract another body either it is uncharged or it is oppositely charged so we cannot say that attraction is the proof for charge now come to repulsion part we have body a which is already positively charged and if we bring the body d which is also positively charged then we will see the repulsion but in the above case here there is only the attraction so we cannot identify that either body b is charged or body c is charged and what type of charges are there in case of attraction so attraction is of no use for proving the nature of the charges whereas if we bring the body with a similar charge then they will uh, they will not attract each other they will repel each other therefore we can say that body a and body d they both have the similar charges either they both are positive or they both are negative okay if object a repel object d it means both have same charges so this is the way to prove that repulsion is the surest test for electrification and not the attraction thank you students